one of Cadillac's most iconic nameplates, the Series 62, debuted in 1940, first under the name 4062. That was before the U.S. joined World War II and automobile production came to a halt in 1942. The nameplate returned after the war and remained in production for almost two decades, becoming one of America's leading luxury vehicles. Our first car is a four-door convertible in flawless shape. Note the maroon color, matching the color of the convertible top seams. We can see the searchlight on the driver's side and also optional side mount spare tires. In this video we will start with the beginning of the lifespan of these wonderful automobiles and true classics. As usually I will prefer original cars, not necessarily in good shape, but being unmodified with original interior and engine. The Fisher-bodied Series 62 replaced the previous Series 61. The Series 62 featured a low sleek torpedo style C body with chrome window reveals, more slant in the windshield, and a curved rear window. 1940 Cadillac Series 62 shared the C body with the Buick Roadmaster and Super. The Oldsmobile Series 90 and the Pontiac Custom Torpedo. Although in neglected shape, long ago this car had a shiny paint, probably sold by the name Carlier Blue, when it was new in the showroom. The front seats now heavily deteriorated, we can see the dash has the car color. The Series 62 are available as a coupe, two and four door sedan and two and four door convertible. There was also a town sedan in very limited numbers. Probably produced less than 15 cars. Note the removable top in front. A black 1940 coupe in great shape and flawless chrome. The interior of the next car in worse condition. It shows the original seats with the seat buttons. We can also see aftermarket instruments under the dash. The four-door sedan is painted in beaver brown, according to Cadillac's choice of colors for 1940. It has lost its gravel shields at the rear wheel wells and the front seat doesn't look original. Let me conclude the year 1940 with a stylish graphics from the Cadillac advertising campaign. Targeting the affluent American customer. The average price of a new car in 1940 was $850, the price of a new Cadillac 62 model ranging between $1600 and $2200. The 62s of the model year 1941 can be easily distinguished from the previous year. The convex chrome grille disappeared in favor of more rectangular lines. There was a circular air scoop under each headlight. We have started the 1941 model line with images of a stunning two-tone turquoise 1941 sedan. Optional spotlights installed on both sides. The interior looks highly original and unmolested. The awesome dash design shows why 1940 and 1941 are highlights in retro automobile styling. Chrome buttons, linear lines on the radio compete with wooden layout. The original trunk interior with jack and a clamp for the spare tire. All 62 Cadillacs shared the same 346 cubic inch 135 horsepower length head, V8 monoblock engine. This is definitely a masterpiece of durability and longevity. It was used from 1936 to 1948. Let us have a look at a few more 1941 cars. A four-door with layers of dust in a storage facility, a beige coupe in the evening sun. A black four-door convertible and finally a maroon 62 coupe.
first generation of the Cadillac 62 series with an out of a 1941 fastback coupe. Customers should see these cars within their financial reach. Finally a screenshot featuring a 1941 Cadillac 62. Taken from the famous 1944 noir movie Phantom Lady, starring the fabulous Ella Rains. This is the end of our journey today. Thank you for watching and subscribing. More original classic cars and information you find at classiccarszone.org.